Yo, welcome back to another episode of the X's and O's podcast. What's good, family? What's good, um, in the building today, we have myself. We've also got a very special guest, man. Mm-hmm. Self-proclaimed best cornerback in the country. Mad. Yo. Mr. Controversy. Mad. Yo. Mr. I go from one team in the Prem to another team. Mad. Mad. Wow. So we're, we're we, we, going got, there. We, we got we got that. Mad. I'm here, I'm here. You got the voice of reason, George. What's going on, people? And you got Bam Bam himself. You can see me now. We're live. Bro, we live, baby. Yeah, we live. We, live. Live. we got cameras. You came we got ready, man. <laughs> you came ready. Like, yeah, yeah, like ready you came ready, bro. came ready. He's like he knew like we're recording today. Like, <laughs> like, Shout out the plug. <laughs> <laughs> drip, right, cool. drip, Before we get into things quickly, Doc, tell us a little bit about yourself, history and Britball. Yeah. Who you are. I first started playing American football for the University of Northampton. Um, I'm from Birmingham originally, so I played for Birmingham Bulls. Moved to Sandwell Steelers. Damn. Then moved to London Blitz. Hmm. Uh, technically, now I'm a London Olympian. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Damn. Experience. That's a lot of teams, man. There's a lot of teams. You're not one to talk. You're not one to talk. Not that many, though. Not that many. Not that many. Not that many. That many. Bro, not that many. Like five. With the London, <laughs> it's circumstance and work that moved me down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Was it circumstance and work that moved you from Blitz to O's as well? Hmm. Rotted. Something is smelling. Wow. I'm just asking, you know, once we've got. Hey, might as well ask questions. Like the people want to know, isn't it? To be fair, I did tell you it's, it's going to be on you. That's <laughs> right, that's right. With, with the Blitz to the O's, it was just, for me, I don't want to get too controversial. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's Talk about, your chest, man. Well, with the Blitz, uh, my last season with the Blitz, there were, it was more of a specific player and a certain type of culture in the team that I didn't like. Yeah. And he, it took the fun out of the game for me. Okay. I'll be open. Let, let's be controversial. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't like the way it was. I know I'd be open like yeah. that. There's the mentality and they had this, formed this click type mentality in, yeah. in the team, and which I didn't appreciate. Defensively, yeah. I love everyone on the, yeah. on the defensive side of, of the team. Yeah. What I didn't appreciate was the fact that bef- when we go into a game, before a game, everyone's hyped. Everyone's, yeah, yeah mm. this is amazing. And you enter the game and everyone's missing. Mad. That's to be mad. fair, you brought that energy to, to Olympians. Yeah. Yeah, he did, man. He came with some. It was like, where, some why is everyone? Why is everyone so sad? Like, mm. this is the game, man. Get hyped. Yeah. And yeah. that's that's how I play. Yeah. The last game of the season, like I, I've got, I got love for the coaches. Honestly, yeah. the last game of the season just showed me that where is the leadership in this team? We were playing Warriors. Yeah, well, wasn't about now, yeah? Or no, Blitz? no, Blitz. Oh, okay, Blitz. Blitz. So, yeah, we were cool. playing Warriors. My last game of the season for the Blitz. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We were playing Warriors. Before this game, everyone's like, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to destroy them. Bear talk. Yeah. Bear talk. We go into the game now. If you've ever played in a Blitz on Warriors game, mm-hmm. it's a battle. Ooh, yeah. mm. If you get, if they get to you psychologically, mm. you've lost that game already. Just leave the game. Yeah. But, as we enter the game, I was ready. Like I was, I wanted this yeah, war. It's, it's yeah, one. Like, mm. Yeah, I'm ready for battle sort of thing. And then the guys that were doing the most talking disappeared. <laughs> Where's everyone? And then there's people that be, they're, they're so quick to be like, when we're losing, like, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. I'm like, where were you in the game? Yeah. Why are you not doing that in the game? Yeah. You should be ready to fight. You should be, it should be a, a, a fight, yeah. a war. Mm. But everyone just disappeared. I didn't like that. Mm. And then what made it worse was after the game, the Warriors spanked us. It was like 50 Mad. something, I think. 54 7. Yeah. I, oh, I remember. Okay. So, all you, had, all you had to do was take the L. Yeah. Where, no and matter then move. what happens, yeah. just move on. There's this guy on the Warriors. I don't even know what, what position he's played. His name's Stedman or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't even know what position. Oh, yeah. I think he's dead. But yeah. what he's good at is talking the most. And yeah. you have to be ready for that. That's mm-hmm. all I know him for. Yeah, I don't, get, getting I just, into your head. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. So, when. They won. He wasn't shaking anyone's hand. He was, yeah. he was trying the most, and then a fight started, and people were starting to fight. I'm like, that's disgraceful. You slow down. I swear. Yeah, down. that was a fight. I was like, that's disgraceful, I that. man. I didn't know that either, bro. Yeah. I actually, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, it wasn't like was like everyone was everyone getting in each other's faces, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. waiting for the first person to yeah, throw the first yeah, punch yeah. because, yeah, I, man, I, I, it was a class. I, I didn't like that. I was like. Hold me back, fam. Hold me why, back. Yeah, 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 why are you doing that now? Why yeah. didn't you do that yeah, again? Where's again? Where's that yeah. aggression? Where's that intensity? Yeah. And then I, I was upset to the fact that I didn't see a leadership mm. in that team. Like, there were people there. There's certain people that are not playing this with the team anymore that were yeah. true leaders. There's, I forgot the the Scottish guy. There's Jack Daly. Those guys were the true leader. They were yeah. the voice of reason. But they were, they were 
not in that game. Yeah. So like the guys there were just like, you know when you have that American mentality, oh, let's do all this yeah, chant, yeah, but yeah, you're, yeah. you're not actually in the game. You're not yeah. actually ready. So was it ever like that at the Blitz? Before last season then? was there, It was wasn't there? before last season. I think last season, the issue with last season, there was a, an influx of new players and an outgoing of a yeah. lot of mm-hmm. um, veteran yeah. players. So I think there was a, a clash of culture type things where you're okay. still trying to get the new players yeah. into the blitz mentality. And yeah. there's still a lot of starters were like rookies where when you're facing the Warriors, it gets <laughs> to you. <Yeah. laughs> when you see this big... Huge athletic. You know guys. what's mad about that? Like it's a as much as we don't want to. It's a it's a thing, you know. It's for it. less, probably less for less experienced guys in the league. But when you hear about, it, and I hate saying it because it's like, like it's as if we're bigging them up in it. But like when you talk about the Warriors, you think about you think a certain thing and you think a certain way and you think of like tough fights on the pitch and and you're gonna get tackled by at least one or two guys every humans. time, bro. Your right. face cage might get ripped not, off like not, mine. Not everyone like, in the Warriors is an athlete. Uh, yeah, I agree that. But still, well, that's what like I mean, team, though. though like, exactly. like they've still got the mentality. mentality. And I it. respect that. That's, that's one it. thing about yeah. Warriors that I respect, although yeah. I hate, most, like, a lot of them. One of the things I respect is that mentality. Mm. They will fight till the very end. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I respect that. The of blitz, The Blitz, what, like, I'm sure the Blitz, the c- culture still continues in the Blitz because the, 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 I look forward to that, that Warriors mm-hmm. versus Blitz game. Yeah. It's just... The emotion, you don't sleep the night before because you're yeah. ready for the And I think it should be that way because you're talking about, and again, we say it all the time, they are the current champs, isn't it? Like, yeah. um, you want to go against the best, you want to test yourself and you know it's going to be a battle. So like, exactly like you said, the day before you're thinking about it, game day you're thinking about it, it even affects what music I'm going to listen to in the car, yeah. what swag I'm going to wear on the day, yeah. how I'm going to carry myself. Like, I know I agree with you fully, man. Fully, fully, fully. With all this talk of the Warriors, yeah, mm. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Mm. Who or what is next after them? So would we are we talking about if we look at the history of the successful clubs so in the if UK? We look at like, yeah, like the Ravens, Ravens and then the O's, O's the Blitz, Blitz and the Warriors. Warriors. Who, That's a sick next? question, you know, because there's like whether people like it or not, there's going to be life after them. One hundred percent after Tony Allen, after all the players, and that's no disrespect. That's just how it is. That's just yeah, like you, like um, you said, we've gone through exactly. Yeah, like, like, but who? But I've had their time. I don't time. know. Oh, I'm afraid that's I you lot. That's, for me, I would say the Blitz. But the situation and the issue is the way people are moving teams. Mm -hmm, And mm -hmm. there's also the issue of people wanting to play in Europe. Mm, And that mm -hmm. dilutes the talent that Mm -hmm, we have here. mm -hmm, Mm -hmm. And it's it's difficult to see right now who will overtake the the Warriors. Tamworth are getting close, but I don't think they have the athletes. And I'll just be honest in terms of like raw... London as I mean yeah, 16 man. million uh-huh. of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have a net net of many athletes and different people to, to play to yeah. play for the Warriors. And also winning mm-hmm. attracts talent. Yes, yeah, yeah. Bronze Bomber said that himself. Winning attracts talent. So if they keep constantly winning people from that just leave coming back from Europe that mm-hmm. wants to still play at high at level. High level, yeah. Will, they'll go there, innit? They'll, they'll go there. They'll go there. The thing is though, if you you mentioned Tamworth, if you look back at the final for the first half, it seemed like it was going to be a close-ish game. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. some of us called 50 burgers and they were writing it in, but if you look at what happened, really, like, Thomas just didn't have the bodies. They didn't. And the Warriors were able to turn guys out and still do an so. effective they job. The bodies. They just didn't have, <laughs> they didn't have enough fuel in the tank. And that, and that, what do you mean? For the first half, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were there. Like They were there, no, yeah. I don't think anyone could have called Bruv, it. Bruv, that half. first drive down the field was scripted exactly. perfectly. But again, like, that, my, in my opinion, that wasn't down to the athletes. Don't get me wrong, they're good players, mm. but that just goes, comes down to Coach Scott's, like, coaching the game. Game plan, yeah. He, he, he had the game plan. Yeah. He had the players to execute, execute mm-hmm. the game plan. And then they, they surprised the Warriors. The Warriors guys admitted, them, admitted themselves, it themselves. Yeah, they, for all. they were because, surprised. And do you know what's funny about that is everyone talks about the Warriors being dominant because they're big, strong guys. No disrespect to Tamworth, but Tamworth ain't the same, the same sort of size as yeah. Warriors by any means necessary. And they still managed to give them a it's game. Like Bristol, win it? Yeah, Bristol, yeah, exactly another yeah. one. Yeah. Exactly like Bristol. Yeah. But with, with, with Tamworth, you have to give, as I know quite a few of the coaches there, is they are smart, intelligent yeah. people. Mm. Really well-drilled team. It's not about the size, it's about, okay, like you said, oh, they've got a body, how do we use them? Yeah, and, exactly been, and where they lost is the fact that it gets to a point where 
you have to give Tony Allen and the Warriors coaching credit. Yeah. credit. Hums, yeah, they realize, okay, you're doing this. Mm. Now we're gonna we're gonna switch yeah. up. Yeah. And they'll keep coming at you. Mm-hmm. They'll yeah. keep and they'll ground you to the floor. Yeah. Until when all else fails, <laughs> they that's go it. to that running game and Fam, that running game. It, this, what what that's more it. can you do? If you can't <laughs> stop the running game, that's that's mm-hmm. it. And they'll keep getting at yeah. you until you give up. And yeah. that's what happened. Time off were awesome first time. Yeah, I'm just saying first. And after that, it's just you, you just not even that they were bad. No, they that, weren't bad. That no, they weren't bad at team all. Would, could probably beat everyone else in the country. It's the Warriors just, the Warriors just have to just, turn up, man. I don't know, man. They've got Warriors have got good coaching and they've got um, in terms of talented players. I'll, I'll yeah. give them that. I still hate the Warriors, but it, <laughs> it, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's crazy. Mm. Going back to your question, man. I, I could. I honestly, hand on heart, can't see anyone but the Blitz. Maybe Tamworth catching up to to the Warriors and, and I say the Blitz because I'm obviously playing there now and the amount of t- even though people say like talent leaves Kent and O's and that the amount of talent that leaves the Blitz to play in Europe is yeah. insane Can you imagine? Is, is ridiculous and I'll I'll put my hand on my heart and say it if all the guys playing in Europe were to stay at Blitz they would give Warriors a run for their money in my opinion mm. people but might disagree with Warriors guys have got their, their, uh, same their thing European in, yeah. guys as well mm, I'm not too sure you know they definitely I know, do have I think guys, Blitz have got more guys in Europe yeah. don't get me wrong but I think Warriors guys like um, but all of them have come back, haven't? Well, the majority of them, no, of them have come back. The majority of them have definitely come back. But do you know what you it's you raised? Is still out there? No, uh, Alex I, Haldane. I don't know because that guy is see. crazy. Um, but you make a point. All of you talking about Europe, you make a point. Like guys want to go and play in Europe because they want to play better ball, right? Obviously, they're uh, getting paid X, Y, Z, whatever. Um, they they're being exposed to a better level of coaching. Mm. different opportunities, possibly opportunities to go and play further else in Europe or even Canada or whatever. So for one, it's not like a, if, if they want to go and play in Europe, fine. Like you don't, you don't technically owe nothing to your club to stay here and play for them. You know what I mean? Truth. Like if you want to go play Europe, that's fine. Um, but then the pe- for the guys that do go and play in Europe, obviously you, you could say what some of them leave a, vo- a void if you want to call it that in their team. But then it's, it's down to then the coaching, the influx of talent, the, the the management of the players, the recruitment to try and get guys to step into those roles and still be effective. Because yeah, it's not yeah, as if to but, say, okay, because because yeah. Michael has gone to Europe as running back, now we can't be, you know, we can't run this play, we can't run a stretch play because we ain't got guys quick enough. Coach true, your guys up, true. Like, and I think certain teams have done really well. And did, well, you can see it yourself again: the Warriors, the Blitz, Tamworth, even even Titans. Like everybody, and you see it more now. Loads of guys are going to Europe. Yeah. Loads of guys are going to yeah. Europe. You hear it announced almost on a daily, every few days, this guy signed, <laughs> this guy signed, that guy signed. It ha- it's, it's ha- and yeah. I think we should, we're going to have to get used to it. So do you reckon with all these people going to Europe, like Warriors is still going to stay at the top? Because there's no one that can come what, see, close to, I don't know. See, close to I, are, yeah. I think we're not, we're not giving Tamworth enough credit. Mm-hmm. I think, the past two seasons, they've been in the final with, yeah. with the Blitz. You're right, and, actually, with the, uh, with the Warriors, Warriors, yeah. And I know I, I'm team Blitz. Uh, although I'm, I'm not playing for the Blitz. I come know, home, my man. Friends are come, still come, home, man. <laughs> come home, man. Come home. Come home, man. I find out what time. <laughs> <laughs> but Tamworth, every year, they're getting gradually better. They will yeah. attract more of the talents up north yeah, going yeah, to, yeah. to Tamworth. Once, mm-hmm. once they True. figure out their complete identity, mm. Mm, there will be a powerhouse. I believe so. Especially this north versus south yeah. Yeah, element. Yeah. People, yeah. Ta- talent will naturally gravitate towards them. So I think true, true. it's potentially between Blitz and, and, Tamworth. and Tamworth. In my mind, I thought Olympians could, could yeah, challenge nah, at one point. Yes. Bro, nah, nah, so yes. wait, wait, In fact, wait, let's wait, get on to that. Let's get on to that. Wait, 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 i will do a disservice if I, if I, if I don't bring that I up. I don't disagree. I just don't so, think it's... Okay, so I listened to the 11 and no... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 and 10, yeah. 10 and 10, 10 again. 10 and 10 and again. <laughs> and I thought... I, I, I appreciate the podcast, but yeah. I, the, the way it came across, I thought it was yeah. wrong. That's fair, bro. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I I'm wrong. listening. So let me, just, let me just explain from my point of view. When I joined um, O's, mm-hmm. you guys had lost to the Blitz by one, one point. Yeah, the, literally uh, one point. W- literally one point. Yeah. And at the end of the season, you you lost to them by a touchdown. Mm. Is that when the injury happened? No, my, my injury was in Bristol, so I couldn't... No, no, as no, in no, the, the injury that stopped the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 they, yeah, they, they were marching the ball yeah, down the field, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So, yeah, yes, Blitz yes. were marching the ball Blitz. down the field. No. No, O's were. O's were. O's were. What, fourth and inches or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was... And then this is why you guys that left, 
I, I was questioning like, why? I know if you look at the history of the O's in the past three mm-hmm. seasons, it shows gradual improvement. Although, yeah. although the scores might not show it, it shows mm-hmm. gradual Consent. improvement. I don't agree. If no, it does. Yeah, you, 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 you cannot keep say it there, that. Keep it there. Keep it there. You cannot say that. Let, I'll show let, you why. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me land. You're saying that mm-hmm. the Blitz are the third best team in the country now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were that close to beating them. What I saw in the Olympians team that that I thought you guys were lacking in terms of why you couldn't beat the Blitz or oh, Bristol was discipline. Hundred mm. percent. It was. Agree. That's it. It wasn't lack of talent. It was. It was discipline, and what you guys need, needed was leaders mm. in that team, and mm. also from from the coaching perspective. Because I yes. felt like you guys didn't know your identity. Do you guys want to be a participation team, or do you guys want to challenge for the playoffs? That's yeah. fair. And I think no one had that identity or the knowledge of what what, what you guys wanted. Mm. But I'm saying, imagine you guys had stayed. Imagine 100%. you guys had recruited more people in. And imagine you guys, because everyone's saying, oh, there wasn't enough people in training. Blitz has that problem. I'm sure like Warriors have that. Teams, big teams in this country still have that problem where there's limited people are training. And I promise you that. Mm. 100%. So if you guys had stayed, if you guys are trying to recruit more people, because before the last game of the season, before the fights, before everything that happened, I was trying to get some people in, but then that podcast came out and it literally, the way it looks is like this team is imploding. But, but like, sure, but set sure, fire, but sure, did, but I but understand the podcast set fire and, and stirred the pot a little bit, but surely that because that podcast came out after Neo had made his announcement. Mm-hmm. Yes or no? Yes, it did. So surely Neo leaving the O's would have made people think, hold on, that's an unsteady ship even prior to the podcast coming out. Granted, but the, the podcast this did not. I help. get, I get uh, what you're saying. Okay, because, it, it, it didn't help. Technically, it's like you can, the news has come out. Neil has left. The O's are in a bit of trouble at the minute. Well, they were, let's say. Then the podcast comes out and says, like, "Oh, O's Owen ten. And it, to be fair, a lot of people saw the title and were like, "Oh, what the hell's going on? Like, what's this?" If you listen to it, which obviously you did, technically a lot of it is just regurgitating information. Yeah. People may not have known yeah. about potentially. Yeah, yeah but, but the way it was portrayed, like, I get that. You, you, I get that. You guys mentioned that you thought my fold. You said yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, and I did. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I truly believe that. that. Okay, yeah. Now, yeah. Now, now, okay, now deep this. Coach Rick, or Rick who yeah, is like a coming. legend in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine your podcast hadn't come out. There's an announcement. Neil's left. Mm-hmm. Rick had come in. Yeah, that's, still, a, I still, that's a big attraction. And I, I've been yeah. training with the, with the O's. O's. Yeah. There are people dedicated uh, to making the team better. There's trying to make changes. But even because I hadn't been to training because mm. of my leg mm. prior to that, in my mind, I was like, raw. I don't want to be part of that. Mm. And that's mainly due yeah. to our podcast. Yeah. Yeah. And imagine other people, potentially uni students, I just finished, I won't. Thinking, oh, they'll yeah. listen to that and they'll be like, no, no, I, I, and, I, and I can hear that. That's I fair enough. Really that's, 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 yeah. that's the only thing I had against that podcast. That, that I, is I, fair. And I appreciate that you guys have been in that team. I can't, I pre- I can't yeah, fully yeah, express yeah, what yeah, you guys yeah, have yeah, been yeah, through, yeah, what you guys have been, I can't do that. But I felt like there should be a sense, like with me and the Blitz, I would never talk like trash and like. Yeah. Really I, I didn't. We didn't trash them. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't trash them. But, but I know what I mean. The marketing, yeah, the marketing yeah, yeah. of the team. Especially of, yeah, people I don't know. know yeah, exactly working that, on yeah. the team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I felt like you guys should have a bit more loyalty, and also like there wasn't anyone really defending. Yeah. The Olympics. And and in saying that, that's why Rick Ayo will have his own episode where he can explain why a player should come to the Blitz and the history of. I mean, no. come to the O's <laughs> and the history of the Olympians. Yeah. So listen out for that episode. Can, can I? Can I be? Um, Oh snap! Sorry, guys. Can I be real with you? Yeah, I still believe that O's were gonna fold even when R- Coach Rick still got there, and I'll tell you why. Um, thing of O's, yeah. And if I'm being sorry, I'm being sorry. Get some chips. Um, Mad. <laughs> Mad. Get some chips. Thing, yeah. thing with Last O's, week it was yeah, a mirror on nice chips. A lot of people who come to O's, yeah, have never been exposed to football before. Like a lot of people are rookies, and they lose hella talent every year. Yeah. Like I'm talking. I think I heard somewhere that they lost forty players this this from last season to this season, yeah. and that's a, that's the team. Like yeah. that's that's yeah, offensive yeah, defense. Right. But blitz blitz but, lost them. A, a yeah, no, I'm saying, but blitz yeah, blitz blitz, blitz, lost them. But blitz, blitz were, didn't find themselves in the same kind of trouble that blitz ain't had. O's blitz are not did. in the trouble that O's have because from what I know from both teams is that blitz has a management team. O's didn't have that when Marlene left. Yeah, Marlene was. As I said, that's why I said cancel the podcast. Because Marlene was the, the, uh, she was the glue, basically. Yeah, yeah, the glue. And obviously Gary's there and whatnot. But 
if it wasn't for her, then boom. As I said, I thought that they were seriously like this is Considering me being hand and heart honest with with everyone. I still thought that they were gonna fold. Like the Rick news was, oh, you got a head coach, but what's your yeah. what's your team management? Yeah, yeah. What's, what's, your, what's, what's, saying? Your, what's your what's yeah. your structure saying? Where's your where are your players at? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I speak to guys at O's, and I'm gonna be honest, like they a lot of guys still don't have the hope that they're gonna. You know what I mean? They, yeah. They're not going to think that they they're gonna beat everyone this season. Which you should do, even if you, if, if, if you know what I mean. Going into a season, you and shouldn't you, have any yeah, doubt in your heart yeah. that you're gonna, or you shouldn't go into any game thinking that you're gonna lose, even if you are gonna lose. You know what I mean? I agree with that, but at the same time, what I'm trying to say is like, imagine you had stayed. Imagine all you guys. I still don't yeah. fully understand. Yeah, and like, I, I say that all the time. Like, I have we can say that for some of the old, some of the old players all the time. If all of the guys that had left, so the Warriors, yeah, every but day. Were, we're saying, Blitz, just talk Kent, about last season. Just talk about one hundred percent. If they all stayed, then yes, they would have given Blitz a run for their money. But there's a reason why so say, many you have players to ask leave. That question, why? You have, you have, there's a reason. If if it was one or two, then you think, uh, you know, it's okay. But when it gets to 30, 40 players leaving, that's there, there must be a reason. Even that, if that's you go of, back before that, yeah, like you're saying, that, yeah. if you go back to like when you left, um, when a number of guys, a smaller yeah. number of guys left. But the thing is, it happens every year, and I know guys leave teams every year. But at the O's, a lot of their good talent. I'm not saying that the rest of the team is trash because it's not, but a lot of their good. Yeah, better talent, talent, better talent, leave the team, and you have to do ask me, yourself why. Do you want me to tell you why? Because then it gets to the point where you have like thirty plus guys. I can, I can tell you why they leave because there's better on offer, and there's only I feel personally there's only so much growth you can do at O's. I'm mm. being real with you. Well, I don't but know. Not, is there better on offer? You, you've you've played there, at man. the Blitz. You played no, at the O's. Is, but what, what's the what's, me, the what's the differences? Me, for me, I. I don't. I still don't fully understand why people are leaving. So I'm just coming speaking yeah, from my yeah, point of view. Is there better on offer in terms of for me personally when it comes to as a DB? Yeah, I thought O's that had a better DB coach than. Hundred percent. Yeah, no. Mark. Mark is. Mark is legit. That, that, Mark and Neil. Too, with yeah. me, I'm a competitor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like wherever I go, I want to start. Like I feel like my question: the guys that have left, are you going to be starting? That's true. Yeah, but it's not always a. Mm, but, actually, but, but, yeah, but I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. That's my hate that. As a competitor, your mentality. You want to go there. I, you want to compete. You want to start. I want to. Yeah. I want to. I want to add value to it. I want to make. Yeah, an I impact. don't want to be there for the sake of it. I don't want to be a bench it. warmer. Yeah. yeah. What's no, the point of me leaving? I want to play this sport. I don't get paid. To, I want to play because I enjoy. Mm. I want to compete. Even when I'm at training, I'm fighting with my team. Just yeah, to, I'm, I know. That one, I know. That's my mentality. So, what is better on offer? Okay, you went to. You go to the blitz. What if the Blitz doesn't win uh, Britball? Because in the end, that's that's the aim. That's, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly that. Yeah. So, so why did you go? Player development. You, what's the what, what's the what's the benefit to yeah. you? Player development. That's why people. Yeah, say. There's, there's, a lot there's more player to development. It. Yeah. yeah there's and a lot then more to on it. top of that, yeah, like I, I keep I, I say, and I'm, I'm not trying to bash the O's, but again, there were times I would go to midweek, and we could even like do six versus six, yeah, exactly. and there's little things like that, and you might turn around and say like it's not like that at Blitz, but. In my time being at Blitz, I've never had a training session where we couldn't do at minimum. 10 v 10 mm. at, at, the, at the very minimum and this is the why the o is, is still a project you have to understand yeah. three seasons ago you guys were in div one or, or yeah yeah, they were in div yeah, one, yeah yeah you have to look at the blitz the blitz as a, a full set program we have a youth program yeah. we have a b team yeah. there have been times whereby we haven't been able to train with the, the b team out to join us to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. train yeah and it is it is like that if and i feel like no disrespect to Coach Neo, but I have to say maybe he has a part of taking or uh, blame to taking this. In what way? In the sense that the culture of the team mm-hmm. is driven from the, the top. Right. Mm-hmm. This is something we've spoken about in terms of the trickle down from it's top trickle- down, bro. So may- maybe he needs to take a blame for that because I was upset for Coach Neo leaving because mm-hmm. I didn't. I joined the Blitz. For oh, him. the O's for, for him. Yeah, yeah. Guys, a lot. So, how, so, how, how, so rather than, how, how did you actually feel about that? So when that news came out, I, what, I, I, I was vexed. I wanted to leave the O's. And how did you find out? I found out through Facebook. Okay. Wow. So that's why I know. And I this is how why it became personal for me because I ruptured my Achilles tendon. Yeah, my they, first game yeah. for the O's. For those, if yeah. I hadn't joined the O's, if I haven't done anything, yeah, yeah. I'd be calm. Yeah. But for me to find out it's just done like that, it's just left. No. I thought you did it, but oh no, man. Bro, it was that was his first game. That's he was in the got, no, he got a pick. I got, got a pick. I got, I was having a game of, I had like yeah, a four star yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that tackle. In one quarter, you know, in one first quarter. Two drives. That's got to hurt, man. So I was vexed, like this affected, not just, it affected my private life as well. Yeah, work So I'm like, yeah, we spoke about, oh yeah, there's a potential to be, I want to come in as a assistant coach, help the development, bring in a new mentality. And for me to just like, Done out here. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Damn. See, for me, that's why I'm like, everyone's just like, yeah. why is everyone giving up so quick? Because I, when I went there, I wanted to find out, okay, is there something more to it? To yeah. it. And for me, it doesn't seem like there's, mm-hmm. okay, management can improve. 
there might be you know, the player mentality in terms of getting players to training could improve. Yeah. But that's the problem. That's that's something that could be solved. It's yeah. a matter of how do you deal with these challenges. But how but how long do you wait before like waiting for those changes? Change. How long do you wait exactly. if you don't see those changes before you're like you know what? And enough. on top of that, some of the, some of the other things that the issues that we haven't met, you haven't mentioned only seem to get worse year on year, which isn't exactly what you want to see in your team, is it? Yeah. Like, I get the certain things like yeah. training numbers you can improve, management maybe, but I mean things outside of that that the players has, well players do have a hand in but also management just seem to get worse year on year and so and I personally been from from the outside in like I said in the last podcast or one of the previous ones because I was looking at joining after you guys yeah, left yeah, Kenny yeah, yeah, yeah. and um I could see from afar bro that the ship was sinking almost I could yeah. see it and I'm not even in and about it obviously I, I knew some guys that were there and I spoke to loads of guys at O's I was like oh what's the training situation what's the coaching like cuz I was like yeah this you could, I knew that this team They'd go down with a fight. You could see the guys on the team that were willing to take it bro, all the way. Honestly, and that's the was, thing about Oves, bro. There was a time where I was like, "This is the truth, man." Like, yeah. Neil was there. He was passionate. Mm. He had the team, but again, like, there's only so much you can do on the field. You have to have the backroom staff, mm -hmm. and that's you why I respect the Warriors and the Blitz so much. Mm. You, in my opinion, a youth team is important. Like having a development team is also important as well. All these guys that you can push into the senior team, you know. But that doesn't happen overnight, and this is why I say maybe the change of management. Like, I know you guys are used to Marlene, you guys are used to mm. Neo. Uh, maybe you flip from that Div 1 mentality to the Prem. Yeah. It's different. Mm. Yeah. Maybe you need that change. You need that sudden... Yeah. yeah. Remember, you got to remember, yeah? O's were... I joined O's 2013. And to 2000... And when did I join X-O's? 2017? Know, man. Maybe it's only 18. I don't know. So for f the five seasons that I played previous, there was not much change from O's in terms of where they were. They were always third best in South. I remember yeah. when you played each team once and you went on to playoffs. Like, O's didn't lose the time off in the playoffs. The next season, we, then we went to Warriors in the semi-finals and we got beat by Warriors. The next season, pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. And there was always that constant, we can't beat Warriors, we can't beat Warriors, we can't beat Warriors. And that's why O's lose players to these teams because they think, look, you can't beat them, then join them. Join, join them and yeah. even if we're not going to... Maybe if I'm not going to start, at least I'm around the best so I can get better by my... Like, you know what I mean? If I'm yeah. playing with the best, practicing with the best, then at least I'm going to get better. And the sad thing about the O's thing, the whole O's situation, as we've all kept on saying, is that athletes come to O's bruv. every yeah. season, bruv. Mm -hmm. Every season. But then the following season, they bounce. And then they bounce. But the thing is, yeah, as you said, it's, it's, uh, as Dot said, if these guys were to stay, and I totally agree yeah. with you, if these guys were to stay, then my answer to the question that I posed to you guys would be, O's would be at the top. I was just going to go back. Because, I was going to go back and say, would that be the answer? Everyone bar George in this room has played mm -hmm. at O's. Mm -hmm. yeah. And everyone bar George in this room, well, everyone including George in this room could potentially start at a team. Yeah. Mm. If we go back further than that, like my first season, the guys that left were like, we're talking Leslie went to the Warriors. Yeah. Matt Luck went to uh, Warriors. A couple guys went to Blitz. Stefan, uh, yeah. number 33, went to Blitz. Like there was some sick, yeah. sick, yeah. sick guys yeah. that have gone to other teams and started. So it's not the fact that guys that leave O's can't start on other mm. teams. It's just the fact that they want better for them. What yeah, is going yeah. on? Yeah. And I think the reason why they leave is because they think, you know what, I can't do or I've reached a ceiling here. Yeah. I need to take My it player there, man. development needs to get better. Yeah. I practice with him, practicing with like minded guys. Because as I said, you got as Dot said, Robert, you got uh, Coach Neo who's got the passion. Mm -hmm. you got players that got the passion yeah. but if you've ever been to an O's game you've seen how many arguments and fights that players yeah. have mm -hmm. on the sidelines yeah. you know like, like okay. people don't want that and I'm not saying it doesn't happen to other teams of yeah, course it happens to other does. teams yeah. but when it's happening that other people as I said to you guys there was a rookie when O's, O's went over oh yeah train, I remember this and he said I don't need to come training mm. because I know I'm going to start on game day mm. You know what I mean? You don't yeah, want those. You don't want to be like, around those type yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but, you, but that, who drives that chain? Like I said, coaching, management, and players. We all are like, accountable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have one question though. Would it make more sense? Like going back to the first topic, who's the next challenger? Yeah. yeah. Would it make sense if O's forget the history of the O's and everything? Yeah. O's fold and merge with. The, See, the listen, blitz. yeah, <laughs> with the, <laughs> the blitz, with the blitz. I'm it's, saying, if, if O's were to merge with anyone, for me, it'd be yeah, if anyone, yeah. no, if they, if they merge with anyone, I think but geographically it should be Kent. But geographically, if all yeah. the O's guys went to the blitz. Yes. Well, that's what I mean, Lord. challenging. That's what I'm talking about. Boy. If you want a serious challenge, challenge then, then, then you, would need, you, would need, you would need London blitz being um, C and D. 
But no, the I don't A-team, think you do, no. I don't think you do. The A-team of mm. London Blitz, and this is me saying, I, I know, you know, yeah, man, yeah. I hate the Blitz. <laughs> yeah. But that A-team of the London Blitz, untouchable. <laughs> it would be, be serious. That would be interesting. It would be that's, serious. That's, that's why I put out there, bar. It would be serious, but yeah, let's leave it on that note, yeah. boys. <laughs> I know we strayed away a little bit, but like, <laughs> we, we had you here next, so we needed to get your take on no, what no, you think word, and all that, but um, word, word, word. that's a juicy way to end it. I can't lie. <laughs> it is. Like, it I've is. Never, I've never thought I've that. only ever thought merging O's and Kent, not O's and Blitz. O's and Blitz would be deadly. Damn. Damn, damn. But yeah, thank you very much for listening, guys. If you haven't already, listen back to all our other episodes. We've got loads of content on the YouTube now at Mandem on Madden and X's and O's team on all the socials. Peace out.